In traditional calligraphy of many cultures, including Far Eastern, Islamic, Hebrew, and Roman, the transformation of words into beauty was inspired by revelations from the invisible, from the invisible, invisible world and the laws governing it. Ever since, scribes have been inspired by the truths and ideas of their religious and philosophical traditions, as well as by the beauty of nature and the trappings of worldly existence. Calligraphers in every culture cultivate writing as a discipline and art form. Such shared aspects are what, makes, um, are what make our exhibition worthwhile, providing a space of conversation between different calligraphy traditions, cultures, and scripts, with engage, <clears throat> uh, which engage, engages a broad range of artists, calligraphers, and calligraphy lovers to see and compare one another's tradition. In a multicultural region, such as the Bay Area, there are ever more and more communities who wish to explore the way another culture thinks, speaks, prays, reads, and writes. If we think an intercultural conversation would be something worthwhile, quite often we must create something special, a special circumstance in which two or more members of the human family who have remained largely ignorant about the other or the others, suddenly find themselves placed in the same room with a mediating voice encouraging them to speak. This is what we intend to do with Calligraphies in Conversation, bringing diverse calligraphic traditions together in one place to stand face to face and side by side in hopes that they will have something to say to one another. Upon consideration, one must surely come to the conclusion that the different traditions represented in this exhibition, though technically world apart, share uh, one and the same origin and purpose. The reason we have beautiful writing, the literal meaning of calligraphy, is a need to express our beautiful thinking, that jewel and the crown of our humanity, an experience beyond all limits of language and culture. Whether it be the thought um, <clears throat> of lies and love, of the miracles of nature or those of man's invention, if there was writing to express that people thought it to be beautiful, to do justice to the beauty of the message and transforming the written word into the art. <clears throat> Just a little bit background. So 2014, uh, we had the exhibition at ICCNC and Oakland Cultural Center, OACC, uh, both in downtown Oakland. So Calligraphies in Conversation is a traveling exhibition. Each year, we bring it to a different place, different community center, different public library, hopefully in the future, different museums. In 2014, uh, we had over 80 artworks, mainly from Middle Eastern and Far Eastern traditions. But in 2015 onward, we opened the exhibition into other traditions and other scripts and cultures. 15, we had exhibition at three places, ICCNC, OACC, and Oakland Public Library. And we had um, a variety range of different calligraphy traditions and scripts. 2016, we had a smaller exhibition at the Gallery of Fremont Art Association, which uh, hosted um, <clears throat> the exhibition with 40 artworks. And the 2017, which, is, uh, which we are very excited to open today and all are waiting to go upstairs on the sixth floor and visit, uh, is having um, over 70 artworks from around the world. This is a map of... Um, the people who visited the website and the form and tried to um, submit artwork. Uh, and you can see um, amazing calligraphers are living all around the world with different languages. And we are really honored to have many of them being represented in this exhibition. 
We have um, over 50 artists and calligraphers uh, being at this exhibition. Uh, and I just want to take time and ask if any of the calligraphers, I know some faces uh, of, this exhibition are, of this exhibition are here. Would you mind please to just stand up and do it uh, and know your face? Thank you so much. If you don't mind. We are really honored to have your works, and it's really important to have local artists and national, international artists. So this this conversation will be more live uh, and going on. And uh, finally, I want to um, let you know that we've just launched um, the Calligraphies and Conversations website. So it's uh, previously it was being hosted, hosted at the ZR Center's um, website, which is the leading organization of this exhibition. But now uh, we have um, the standalone website of the exhibition. And hopefully, we'll have all the artworks over there with the descriptions and biographies and prices. Um, the artworks here are, are for sale. Uh, we didn't mention any pricing in the library because we don't have to, but um, they ask us to have an, an external resource for that. So if people are willing to acquire artworks, which I encourage you, they're very unique and great. So you can visit the website, calligraphies.org. Thank you so much. We'll enjoy the rest of the presentations.